Hello there, I'm back, back at, at it, it again. again. <laughs> Although YouTube certainly did not seem to appreciate me taking a semi-hiatus for a month at a time. Hmm. Mm. So for the sake of not having my videos buried forever, I need to upload often again. Which is harder, given that I changed jobs, my editor changed jobs, and we're lazy ass slobs on top of it. But you gotta do what you gotta do. To that end, I'm instating a continuing series that will basically be my filler content because I always have material for it and it's quick and easy and helpful for some. That is my book club. No sizer this time, sadly. I lied. I've cheated all of you and you didn't even notice. Now I'm no pita. Although I would very much like to copy the shit out of his book club concept, so this series might not be as written with sarcasm and funnies because, well, I'm someone who actively tries to only read things I enjoy. You know, a normal human being. Like this one. Anyway, roll intro. Let's start with something for my male audience, of which there are suspiciously many of you given my yaoi roots. Here comes the plane! Something to know about me is that I very rarely read straight smut. I'm a very, very, very straight female, and the mere sight of another female can sometimes be enough to turn me off forever. But now and then I get this strange... <laughs> for a good, wholesome... Okay, scratch wholesome. Straight smut story. And Game Sud no Sukima delivers. I cannot fully explain to you why I like this story so much. Most stories that have such frequent sex scenes put me off, even when it's yaoi, and men who are only after sex also put me off. Yes, laugh at me for wanting to in my hentai. <laughs> but this story just scratches an itch I didn't know I had. I particularly love the female lead, who is for once a quote unquote strong woman who doesn't know how to feel about being likened to a man. Maybe this is why I like it so much. I've also been told that I have a manly personality in the past, which is something I like and dislike at the same time, but it doesn't take away from having a very feminine appearance to contrast it. But either way, Fuji is the GOAT, one of the only females I enjoy watching squirm under a man she wants to dominate mentally since she cannot do it physically. She is also very attractive. <laughs> this story is ongoing and honestly it's reached a very interesting point that I cannot wait to see the resolution to. Do yourself a favor and read this one. For the plot. Next up, I'd like to mention Deki Aizente, which is a new series that you're more likely to not have heard of before. Full warning, while Game Suit was certainly risque, so to speak, this one is straight up steamy. So I can't show most of it. The story follows Kunihiro Toko, who is an ex idol and current celebrity whose manager is obsessed with her to the point that he stalks her. As she's running from him, she bumps into this cutie named Iwashiro Yuji, who happens to be a lawyer and offers to help her fend off her stalker. There's only three chapters so far, but I love Yuji. He reminds me so much of the Silver Fox and Sesame Salt and Pudding, which I talk about in great detail here. So read it, seriously. Yuji's one of those rare men that doesn't pull the BS I can't restrain myself line. You want some fuck? It actually does things consensually without it being extra and awkward and unsexy. I mean, yes, I know, getting consent doesn't have to be sexy, but it's better when it is, am I right? But he's a lawyer, so perhaps that's why he's all very aware of the things he needs to do to not be labeled a <laughs> later on. But he also holds a much deeper, darker secret. He's a fucking simp! 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 A groupie, a grown ass man lusting after an idol, at least they're the same age, but thank fuck he hides that side of him well because if I knew that, as Togo, I would not touch him with a six foot hole. Or maybe not, because he is hot and likely wealthy. Hmm. I came here for the sex, but now I'm assessing this man as if I'm going to marry him, which hey, that's exactly what Togo does after only knowing him for like a day. I'm seeing more and more sesame parallels here and I'm loving it. Da 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 da. <laughs> Keep an eye out for this one, the art is superior for being smut and we all know I'm an art ho. Alright, you're probably wondering where the heck to find those two <coughs> intellectually stimulating pieces of media. And here comes a bit of a problem. You can find them online, legally for all of you warriors out there, but they're only in Japanese and French. Now I can speak enough of those two languages to know what's going on, but all of you out there might not. So yeah. So, support the industry! Game Suit can be found on Hakusensha in Japanese or Comixology in French, and Deki Aizente can be found on Chocolove slash web. I also read books, my dudes! Such intellectualism! When I have extra time at work and reading smut on company Wi-Fi sounds just a little bit too risky, I read books. Quite frankly, I read them too fast for my budget. 
The first one I'll mention is called The Knock on a Thrift Shop, and it's a slice of life where That's it. That, that's the book. The main character, Hitomi, works at said thrift shop and details her life in a somewhat episodic manner. Quite frankly, this is not an amazing book. Unless you're into slice of life where that is. I wouldn't have mentioned it at all if it wasn't for one specific passage in the book that was not explicit at all, and yet it awakened something in me that made me regret being at work and being unable to summon my booty call. Hiromi's coworker Takio is a man who's been dumped by his girlfriend for being impotent. But he's not really impotent. I don't need these. He's just not that into it. Or her. Already I see him as Domiki and I like him, but moving on. Hitomi and Takeo have a very awkward relationship that isn't very adult-like, to the point I wonder what the hell stunted their emotional intelligence quite like this. But one day, Hitomi is watching this quiet dude silently working, and they're in an awkward stage of their relationship, but he's oh so close yet oh so far away. And as he works completely unaware of Hitomi burning holes in his back with their staring, a drop of sweat rolls off his forehead. How deliciously moist. Now, Hitomi describes how this image of him stirred something inside her, and it's stupid, I know, but I swear to god, I've looked at my man in the exact same way before, and I felt what she felt when I read that passage, and that moment alone made the book worth it for me. I think only women can understand why an image of a man silently working with his sleeves rolled up, his sweat pours off of him, is sexy, but please, lady, back me up. Last but not least, I've read Malice. It's a detective story, plain and simple. It was on Kindle Unlimited and I was poor and desperate, so I read it. I'm a huge fan of detective stories, but who the detective is makes all the difference, I think. My favorite detective ever is Hercule Poirot, and every night as I have dinner, I watch an episode of BBC's Poirot series. Poirot adoration runs deep in my veins, because I have a weakness for eccentric geniuses who take themselves way too seriously. It reminds me of myself. Regardless, the detective in this story is Ichiro Kaga, who is a failed teacher investigating one of his ex-colleagues. If you like many twists and turns, this is a story for you. It also has shifting POVs, which for some reason reminds me of fan fiction. Something about this story just wasn't satisfying to me. I kept feeling that the twists and turns were not what I wanted, and when I read the ending, I was just not happy with it. I think I like the antagonist more than the detective, and that's why I was disappointed that we didn't get to hear his thoughts too. Only the detective proudly unraveling the real motive, which was malice, lol, okay. Did I fill up five minutes yet? <laughs> anyway, I will try my best to watch anime, I promise. Stop it, stop it, please, I beg you! There's like maybe one or two things that I might be interested in this season. I know, an abundance of potential. Thank you to all 10 of you who watch everything I put out, fully knowing that I'm scrambling to get this shit together 5 seconds before I record. Your service is greatly appreciated. I'ma go eat a whole roll of cheese now! Panda out! Oh yeah, if anyone knows how to make this room not sound echoey as hell, uh... That would be great. Carpet? Check. Panels? Check. Soundproof curtains? Check. What else do we need?